Where do you belong? You don't want to send me home, Doc. Please. I mean, that stepmother of mine had me scrubbing floors like Cinderella. No telling what I'd be doing next. A lounge act in Vegas? Kid's got a point, Trevor. YGC is not fun in games. I could put him up in the Titanic for the night. We could try and locate his parents tomorrow. That's a good idea. Well, wait a minute, I can't do that. I'm on call tonight. Oglethorpe's bellyache, remember? Cute, very cute. Hey, you've got a spare room, don't you? I also have a very important date. Do you mean to tell me that your personal life takes precedence over the needs of a minor? Cool it. One thing has nothing to do with the other. Oh, but it does, it does. On the one hand, we have a homeless waif. On the other, we have the chief of surgery, a man we all look up to for inspiration, a charitable soul, a father figure, if you will. You are not conning me into this one. This date tonight is very important to my relationship, and I will not give it up. Get the picture? Hey, this is pretty classy. Uh, if you're hungry, the uh, kitchen's in there. If you're not, the uh, guest room is upstairs. Anything I can do? <laughs> You've already done it. Ingrid? Oh, hi, sweetheart. Listen, uh, you're not going to believe this, but uh, a little crisis came up tonight, and I... Hello? The thing with Ingrid, you're in over your head, I bet. So are you, kiddo. Well, still, a man your age has got to be careful. Hey, you want a sandwich? I'll fix it. No, 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 no. What I want is some answers. Now, sit down here, will you? I want your full name, address, telephone number, okay? Now, come on, you're a bright kid, Scott. Brighter than most. So you gotta know there's a couple of worried parents out there somewhere, right? Sorry, that's classified information. And there are not two worried parents out there. Only Dennis. You want peanut butter or cheese? Oh, Dennis? Who's Dennis? My father. How about grilled cheese? Where is he? If I knew that, I wouldn't be here destroying your social life. Grilled cheese sounds great to me. How's Corey? She's asleep. Is there any improvement at all? Not as much as we'd like. Oh, she's not going to make it, is she? Yeah, I didn't say that. I wish I was the one in there and not her. Come here. Sit down. Wendy, this guilt trip of yours is getting a little out of hand. You know that, don't oh, you? Oh, come on, Dr. Gates. My job was to keep an eye on all of those kids, all of them, and I didn't do that. What if Corey were your child? What would you think of me That's then? That's not the point. That is the point. Don't you think I'm aware of what's going on around here? I hear the talk about a lawsuit. They're always talking about lawsuits. And Slocum's talking about an investigation. That's all I need. So, let him investigate. What's he going to find? It was an accident, period. I don't want to be investigated. I don't want to be picked apart. People start prying into my past, and I don't wait around for curtain calls. Your past has nothing to do with this. Not much, it doesn't. What do you mean? Nothing. No, wait a minute. No, wait I better Wendy, go. I want to know what you're talking about. For God's sake, just take your hands off me and let me go. Because of me. Might as well tell you, you're going to hear about it anyway. Everybody will. I spent six months in a mental home. So? So? A, a mental home. A, yeah, a loony bin, a funny farm. I mean, doesn't that mean anything to you? You're not there now, right? I, it doesn't matter. I was there. And I haven't told anybody about it. I don't think the employees of this hospital are going to want a mental patient taking care of their kids. Okay, my 
my man. I have to go to work. Uh, the daycare center is that away. It's kid stuff, Trapper. I mean, it's not a challenge, you know what I mean? What I know is you're still not playing straight with me. Come on, Scott, you can't hang out here for the rest of your life. So why don't we call your father and let him know where you are, okay? Why bother? He won't even be there. Dennis, king of the road. Hi, Trapper. Hi, Ernie. And you, Mr. No Name, how are you this morning? Recalcitrant. He is referring to his attitude toward the daycare center. Oh, excuse us, please, Trapper. Certainly. Come here. Is that understood? Split. <laughs> what did you say to him? You really want to know? No, let's go to work. <laughs> to me. I started packing, getting ready to leave. I suddenly realized I have no place to go. Well, I'll help you unpack. Give me time, I'll think of a place. Maybe my old room's available back at the funny farm. Hey, uh, uh, uh. it's in the past, remember? Yeah, but it just keeps coming back, Gonzo. One way or another, I you want some coffee? Something to drink? No, no thanks. No, it's okay. I probably couldn't find it anyway. I got some wine. You want some wine? Sure. shed a tear. And then it all started coming apart. My my marriage, my career, everything. And I just, I mean, after my divorce, I, I figured if I didn't get my head together, I was going to end up a basket case. So you went to the hospital? I checked myself in convinced that I killed my son. And six months later, they checked me out, convinced that I hadn't. And now there's this little girl, Corey. I tell you, it's funny how guilt just repeats itself. It's like a nightmare that won't quit. 